Oh, okay. We have it this way. Well, what would, um, I, I don't want to seem that I'm harassing anybody or that I'm annoying. I'm trying to be polite about everything. Um, what, what, what do I need to do? I, I, I have filled out these forms. I have talked at city council meetings. And what's happening is, is my rights as, you know, my First Amendment rights are not being protected. I've been maliciously prosecuted by the city attorney's office just for speaking up. And, and what I'm speaking up about is I lost everything that I owned. So all my property was taken, and, and the city just doesn't seem to think that's a problem. And they're doing this to homeless people. They're doing it with their sweeps. They're taking motorhomes. They're taking cars. Um, they're allowing Courtesy and Meadows Tow to keep everybody's stuff. And, and it really seems like they just don't care. And, and worst part is that's a fight in itself. It's this thing. It's my First Amendment right to speak up out there. And same at the police department. And I get arrested. They put handcuffs on me. They throw me in jail. Um, and I'm, I'm very upset about that. So um, c can I fill out something here to speak with somebody? OK, great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because I filled out that, that same form, and, and there was at one time one of the mayor's aides sent me an email, um, and then it just, they went silent. They would no longer email me back. Um, voicemails that I leave regarding these issues, and I'm, and I'm very polite when I leave the voicemails. I try not to do it all the time, um, and they just get ignored. And then the hardest thing is, is I've waited a very long time at city council meetings and they bumped the public comment off till the evening session. And there was one time I waited till almost one in the morning um, just to be ignored. I just think that's just, it's, it's just un-American. <laughs> I love the city of San Jose, but it just seems like it's very anti-democratic. So I appreciate your help, ma'am. Thank you. It's, it's okay. I, I totally understand it. You know, it should be easier than doing this where people don't have to deal with this. I mean, I, you should fill out a oh, form, maybe. Right um, yeah, yeah, I can use this one right here. Yeah, I filled out. I'll, I'll fill it out again. Um, okay. uh, this one right here is, is, I would have to say this is probably maybe in two and a half years, maybe the 20th time I filled out a form like this. So. Yeah, you can sit down there. Oh, okay. Let me, I'll, I'll just jot it on here real quick and then I'll get out of your hair. So, Scott Largent. And, and I'm sorry, the date today, it is the 3rd, so we're going to do 8-3-2018, and I'm going to go ahead and put my phone number on here, 408-482-6475, and I'm going to put my email address, that's scottlargent38 at gmail.com. And my, I am in Santa Clara, but my daughter lives in San Jose, and at the time I was homeless, I was living in San Jose. So it, it always kind of gets confusing right here. Maybe I'm worried they're ignoring me because I say I'm from Santa Clara. So why don't we just leave this blank and open. And First Amendment. RV. And we're going to put property. Civil rights. Um, so I'm just putting it on here, First Amendment, my RV property, my civil rights, and um, yeah, I, I think this is pretty much explains it. I, I don't think I need to put more of the background information. Um, I, I just put my contact information right here. Um, I've filled out this form before, I've sent emails, I've made calls, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. You know, you never know. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's great. And is there a way to also, um, the one I filled out yesterday was to notify all the other councilmen and women, because this is something that's happening everywhere in the city. So if, if Sam Licardo doesn't want to address it as a whole, maybe I 
uh, can reach out to all the different councilmen and women. Can that be forwarded to all them? Um, do you have access to email? Um, currently at the moment I do not. So I would like to do it this way because a lot of times if you're living on the streets or you're coming out of poverty um, or like it with myself, I mean, drug addiction and, and, and um, alcoholism, uh, you know, I ended up getting sober. But when you go through those stages, it's hard to have Internet access. It's hard to have cell phone. I mean, I just didn't I, I don't know the routes to go to get a free phone to u utilize the library. I mean, I understand those things now. Um, but this is kind of the situation I've been in coming in here and, and filling out a form and asking, you know, that personal relationship to talk to somebody. Um, could you put, like, the desired outcome? What you um, I'm trying to think. Desired outcome mm -hmm. is... Um, Yeah, no, it's, um, I guess the desired outcome is to make my civil rights matter, my First Amendment, my Fourth Amendment, um, my, my constitutional rights, um, um, make America great again. I mean, really, make it free. I mean, this is, uh, I, I don't know what to write there, man. I'll just, they just seem to ignore me. So, here you go. I appreciate it. If you could forward that to the mayor and then the other councilmen and women, I would, I would very much appreciate it, so. All right, man. I'll let you get going. I'll go uh, back out with the trusty bees. So thank you. You take care. It was nice talking to you, ma'am. You take care. Thank you.